So, we wanted to do this video to show you what you can see and do all around Mandalay. So for the first time, we had a driver that we paid 40,000 kiat for the day and he bring us to all of those places. So the first one that you will probably do at the beginning of your day is the wood carving factory. It's pretty cool. You will see a lot of men working on different kind of items, religious, picture of Buddha, for example, elephant. It's really nice and it will not take a lot of time on your day. So do a little stop there, it's totally worth it. After that, we drove a little bit south to see the Umintons Pagoda in the town of Saigon. You can see a lot of beautiful Buddhas everywhere. It was one of our favorite pagoda during the day. You don't have to buy any ticket, but you can always give some donation. After that, we went to explore Mingun, which is located 11 kilometers from Mandalay. And there you have a couple things to see, but before you have to buy a ticket for 5,000 chat per person. The first pagoda that we saw in Mingun, it's called Sipyuna. This pagoda is completely painted in white and was built in 1816. It's really beautiful and you can also call it like a Taj Mahal of Myanmar. Right after the Sipune temple, we went to see the Mingun Bell. We don't have a lot of things to say about it, but for your information, this bell was at the time the heaviest functional bell in the world. It weighed more than 90,000 kilos and it's totally worth it if you are around the Sipune temple. Right near this huge bell, we went to see the Mingun Paya. It's an old, unfinished pagoda. It's really impressive. There is this huge block of rocks in the middle of nowhere, but over it, it's supposed to have a huge pagoda. And of course, it's not there, so it's pretty weird. It looks like a natural rock and it's beautiful. You have to go there. It can be a bit disappointing because from far we thought that we could go inside but no you can't, it's totally full, there is only a little Buddha just after the door and that's all. Our next destination around Mandalay is Inva. So first you go there by taxi, second you have to take a boat to cross the river for 1500 chat and the third transportation is a horse and it costs you 10,000 chat per couple. You have to take this horse for at least 5 kilometers to reach the monastery. The monastery is called Maha Aung Mies Bonzan, which is also known as a brick monastery because it's made from bricks. In the entrance you're going to be welcomed by two giant lions. And after you can see the beautiful monastery. It's big and you can lose yourself inside of it because there's a lot of tunnels. The last things of the day that you have to keep for the sunset is the Ubing Bridge. It's one of the most famous places around Mandalay. It's a 12 km wood long bridge. It's really impressive and it's sometimes really crowded. You should take a boat, you will cross it and then you will be on the lake when the sun is going down. And that's the best moment of your day. It's beautiful and you are surrounded by fishermen who are in the water and you can see only their heads going out. It's pretty weird and pretty interesting. And then after, of course, you will go back on the shore and then you will be able to go on the bridge. We hope that this little video will help you to plan your future trip to Mandalay. And if you want to see more videos like this one, don't forget to hit the bell and to subscribe to our channel. Anyway, see you on the next one. Bye.